Hey guys, Davey Wavy here. This is my house in Palm Springs and I've lived here for about a year. I've had a lot of construction done on the house and one instance where I was getting a quote, there's been a lot of kind of people coming in and out and like, you know, they've been great at what they do. No one has been my cup of tea from a sexual perspective until I was getting a quote for this one particular project and this guy knocked on the door and I answered it and, I, and he was in this like really fitted polo shirt, khaki pants, like very neat, it was like tucked in, just like very fit and like dashing, like very handsome. And I was like, Ugh, which is what I usually do when I see a hot guy, I go, Ugh. and I'm like, oh, well, let me show you the project. So I do, and I'm like, I have some paint in the garage that you might be able to use for it. And he's like, okay, let me take a look. So we walk through my house and on that back wall there, I know that like this is, it's normal for me. I know it's not for most people. I have like a, a, a gallery of nude vintage prints on the wall. So he sees it and I'm like, oh, Christ, yeah, I have this wall here. And I also, I'm just out of fucks to give. So I show him the paint in the garage. He comes back out, he turns, he looks at the wall and he goes, so which guy's you? And I'm like, oh, well, these are vintage prints. Like I'm not in any of these pictures. I'm like, what is, is he saying that because he's like interested in me? Cause there's like a door that's open here. Like, should I walk through this? So I go, let me get you a glass of water. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And I'm like, so, um, do you live around here? Like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, yeah, I live here with my wife and my kids. And I'm like, oh my God. And like, maybe I'm completely misreading this, this moment. So I give him this water and he goes, well, what about you? What do you do? And I go, well, I have this website called himorose.tv and we create erotic video content that enhances gay men's experience of sex and sexuality. And he's like looking at me and he's like, what? And I'm like, uh, I produce gay porn. <laughs> And like, and he's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then he goes, well, can I see it? And I'm like, okay, yeah. And so I walk over to my laptop and he follows me and I'm thinking to myself, fuck, like what can I possibly show? Like what's the least strange clip, like the most accessible video that I can possibly show him. So I show him this video called discovering your erogenous zones. I think it's called with Alex Mecom and Max Adonis. And it's really hot. It's just one of my favorite videos. And so the guys are fucking on screen. You should go check it out. And he's looking at it and he goes, so that guy there, he's, uh, he's the bottom, right? Like the terminology. And I go, yeah, yeah, that, that's the bottom and this guy's the top. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the bottom. And he goes, well, that's what you are, right? And I'm like, oh, qu like queen, like, <laughs> am I getting red? <laughs> And I'm like, oh, well, sometimes, sometimes I, I bottom. I don't know, I kind of like everything. And yeah, sometimes I, I like to bottom. And he goes, oh, okay. Well, I'm a sexual freak. And I'm like, oh my God, like it, at, at this point, like all bets are off. Do you know what I mean? Like all bets are off. And he pulls out his phone and he pulls up a video of him having sex with his wife. And he shows it to me and his wife is also like really hot and has these like big boobs. And I'm like, oh my God, like, it, like what is happening? So I turn to him and I say, well, you know, if you ever want to do anything sometime, like, I don't know what his agreement is with his wife. Maybe this is a, uh, how I'm rectifying the cognitive dissonance. I don't know what the agreement is. I don't know what their arrangement is. Like, I don't know what their policy about other people is. I'm like, if you ever want to do anything sometime, here's my phone number and you know, just like shoot me a text or something. And I go to turn around and his dick is out. So I like dropped to my knees and blew him. Oh, and as soon as I started blowing him, like maybe 15, 30 seconds into it, I was like, well, the, the fun part was the tension right? Like, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? Once it's happened, you're kind of like, well, it's <laughs> like the fun part's over and it wasn't really that much fun to suck his dick. So, uh, he actually came really quick, which I was totally okay with because I was like already I'm like, all right, how long do I want to like squat down on my knees? So yeah, so I, I blew him, he came and then <laughs> he left and, and that was that. And, I don't know, it was, in hindsight, like thinking back on it, if I was filming a video for him or Rose TV, I wouldn't even approve that concept because I'd be like, that's too cliche. That's like a typical porn storyline, like the construction worker comes over and like, 
yeah, like, blah, 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 and you end up fucking, like, it, it, it's, like, that doesn't happen in real life. And yet, it fucking did. It was, like, real life gay porn. So, that's my story. That's my hot, sexy story. Hope it gave you a boner. Make sure you check out himrose.tv because the storylines are a lot more interesting than that. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, more to come.